Maryland is another state taking action to stop the spread of coronavirus. Bars, restaurants, movie theaters, and gyms all shut down. The state also postponing its primary from April 28th to June 2nd. And joining me now is Maryland Governor Larry Hogan. And governors are certainly on the front lines. That's the way our system works, and I think that it works pretty well. How are you prioritizing your decision making for all the things that you have on your plate right now? Well, Dana, it's really hard to do because this thing is moving so rapidly. You know, it's not changing on a daily basis or an hourly basis, but almost minute to minute, as you know, covering this. Um, you know, the, 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 the thing is changing, and we're just making decisions as rapidly as we can based on the best information that we can find. Um, I just uh, five minutes ago finished a call here in Washington. I'm the chairman of the National Governors Association. We had nearly all of America's governors on a call. We're going to be having another call tomorrow with the vice president and the senior leaders here in Washington. But, uh, you know, we're all dealing with this crisis, and uh, the, the good news is we're sharing information and communicating back and forth with one another. Uh, but the decisions are fast and furious. You know, I declared a state of emergency 15 days ago. I was the first uh, state in the country to close all the schools last Thursday. But every day we're rolling out a whole another series of things, like you mentioned just in the lead-in, closing all the bars and restaurants and uh, social distancing. And now we're dealing with crises like not having enough supplies and ventilators and personal protective equipment and test kits and uh, you know, we're calling mm -hmm. up the National Guard. We have 22 members of the Guard. So it's just a never-ending, you know, uh, cascade of decisions and actions that have to be made almost instantaneously. And are you getting much pushback from people who think that it's an overreaction, that it's too much? Only a handful of people. So at first, I think we were... We were ahead of the curve, and then many states followed us on a lot of things. Mm. Um, and some of the public is not quite as aware of how bad things are, but they're starting to catch up. And, you know, we're starting to get a much more serious message out of the White House and press conferences every day. Um, and the president talking about, you know, the, uh, Anthony Fauci and the vice president. The messaging is people are starting to understand mm -hmm. uh, that if we don't take these actions, that potentially hundreds of thousands of people are going to die. And so um, it's, look, these are, these are really difficult things to ask people to do, and it's, uh, it's disrupting their lives. Um, but if we don't do these actions and we don't take them right now, I mean, it's really, it's, it, it, lives are at stake. And the president said today that it, this is, we have to treat it like we're fighting a war. Um, but, th but that doesn't mean that other things stop. For example, how do you right. m manage you know, law enforcement or things just like getting regular government services to the people of Maryland? It's, uh, it's one of the things we're wrestling with. So we, uh, we instituted uh, mandatory telework. Uh, telecommuting for a big, big, huge portion of our state workforce that can do that and do their jobs from home, but a lot of, you know, really critical functions, um, we've got to get people out there continuing to do their jobs, and uh, that's difficult because we actually have state uh, workers who are now infected and or in quarantine, who can't be around people. And, uh, you know, that's one of the reasons why we called up 2,200 members of the National Guard. Mm -hmm. We're dealing with situations like surge capacities in our hospitals and trying to quickly bring online 6,000 more hospital beds. And uh, wow. it's, uh, it's all kinds of uh, tough, tough decisions and actions. But, but the good news is there's a, a whole lot of really smart, wonderful, dedicated people Absolutely. at the federal, state, and local level that are all working together and, and putting dedicated. everything aside. Indeed. I know you were yeah. one of the first to close schools. Do you think schools in Maryland will reopen uh, this year? It's such a difficult question, and we're, uh, we had a big discussion about that today. We had a discussion amongst all the governors about that today and among our uh, professional experts in Maryland. You know, we've got, we have a coronavirus emergency response team made up of the best doctors in the world from places like Johns Hopkins yeah. and NIH and the University of Maryland, all, all these uh, really smart guys, and the folks at the federal level who just don't know. We're talking about... Yeah bending this curve and about where the peaks are going to be and what the surges are going to be. And, and it's just, um, you know, uh, we don't know what it's going to look like in a couple of weeks. We don't want to know what it's going to look like a month from now or two months from now. I know that there's been some discussion about whether or not schools will be able to open before the end of the year, but we haven't quite yet made that decision. We closed mm -hmm. schools for a couple of weeks, extended spring break to give us time figure to reassess out. and yep. figure out a way to, to allow kids to be able to 
how are we going to continue to educate the kids from home, uh, do this by computer mm -hmm. and or sending home for smaller, younger kids, you know, work programs so they can do work from home. If there's anything, I'll give you a last word here. It's anything that you really want you know, citizens to know. I know you're the head of the National Governors Association, and I thank the governors for all, the, all that they're doing. Is there anything that you're really asking for citizens to do right now? Well, the governor's really on the front line, but it's every one of us, Dan, every single one of us, Dan, that's in the whole country can be a part of this. You've got to just pay attention to the news and listen to what's going on and, and make sure that you're not spreading this to other mm -hmm. folks. We've got to do, the social distancing is for real, yeah. you know, and uh, everybody's in this together. Every one of us has got to help save the lives of our fellow citizens, and um, we're all in this together. It's going to get better, but we it's can't really stop this. We can't stop this crisis without everybody working uh, and helping each other. Maryland Governor Larry Hogan, thank you and take care. Thank you.